Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Sparks. Thank you, Red Beard. Back again with my co-host, Wesley. Well, we're going to just shoot the shit and fill some bottles and talk to you guys because I still have a sinus infection and he's feeling the funk and yeah, we're I'm just, just like, like yeah, out of it. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, so we're going to just drink uh, and we're going to fill these bottles for the next blind tasting so you guys get a, a preview of what's coming up. Uh, 117 and above was the requirement. Mm-hmm. So we kept it down to 16 bottles. Got a pretty good variety, I think. So what's the lowest one? This one. I don't know. That that's one one set team. Yeah, that's probably gonna be pretty close. Well, that's chances. Yeah, I don't know what Wild it is. Card. Yeah. I think everything else is at least 120 and up. Okay. So, I mean, that's close. I mean, Knob Creek, that's 120. This one's 119.4. So. You said we're starting here. Right? Yeah, we're starting with Bardstown. So, we have the Bardstown single barrel, which is. 128.8 proof. Yeah. I know. I'm gonna fill this thing in there when I am. I always do. You need to fill? That's not great. It's all right. Look at there. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. Number one is Barge Snow and Snowboard. I'm gonna put these. So you have a dark horse pick for this. Oh, man. This is gonna be a hard one, I think. I think we're, we're, are we gonna do? Are we gonna try to do four in a video and then do two at a time? We're just gonna do two for a video. This is gonna make it longer. But, yeah, but it's also gonna yeah, it's gonna stretch out the amount of videos we do. Yeah. Let me try to do four. We might be tanked after the first one. Yeah, we might only be able to do one. Yeah. What is like we, before we were filming yeah. two and three. Uh, we were no. doing four at a time, but filming two and three videos. Yeah. I don't think we'll be able to do that. No, we're going to feel really good. The second video, everything's going to taste great. Um, I'm going to say... Uh, <sighs> <laughs> Look at you. He's a wizard. Um, yeah, so this is a lucky seven at 119.4. I'm gonna. Man, I don't know. It's gonna be a hard one. I wanna say larceny, just because I like a weeded bourbon, but I know, I think, uh, just kind of my dark horse, I guess. Dark Larson is your dark horse? Oh, well, actually, maybe even Lucky Seven, because that is really good. <laughs> Lucky Seven's really good. Well, I mean, at, at the very end of this, because it's going to take a few minutes for us to fill up these bottles. Yeah. Uh, but up next, we have the Brown Foreman series. Oh, we're good. Number three is, is yeah. this, right? Yeah, I wrote them out. Uh, Old Forester Single Barrel, and we also have Jack Daniel Single Barrel Barrel Strength. So I bought, they had these cute little 375s at our local Harleys. And I wanted to add it in there just because neither Wes or myself, nor myself, uh, are fans, really fans, of Jack Daniels. So I kind of well, want to... the rye. Yeah, the rye is really good. Well, I like Jack Daniels 10. Don't like 12, they're like 10. Yeah. So Old Forester's coming in at 127.4. And that one, that's actually a really good one, I think. That's not the one that, they had one that it was so potent, like it would kill you. Mm-hmm. There's the cups. Yeah. So. so we got, we got two from Brown Foreman. We've got, uh, Basically two from Bardstown. The Bardstown Single Barrel and Lucky 7 is produced by Bardstown, but it's a Lucky 7 Brashville yeah, brand. Their brand. But Bardstown produces it for them, ages it for them, does all of that good stuff. So, I mean, 
I'd say roughly it's a bar sound product. Yeah. I mean, that's made by bar sound. The Jack Daniels coming in at 130 proof even. Yeah, they had a 129. They had mm -hmm. two different single barrels. And I went with the higher proof. So. And I feel like you're going to hate this one the first time. You're going to know what it is the second year. I may or may not. I'll probably know what it is, but I'm going to try to be very impartial. If it's better than whatever it's paired up against, I mean. I'm a fan of Willet. So this one is coming in at 137.6%. That might be the highest one. I think it is. I'm pretty sure. Because everything else is. Uh, what is. Let's see that 23. 133. And I think it's pretty close to the E.H. Taylor also. So will it? That's the only Willet product. Yeah, know? that's all we got. Man. That's all we're gonna do. Yeah. Get from Willet. It's gonna be anything worth drinking that they make. That other craft they make, Kentucky something and the, the Rose Johnny, Creek and Johnny Noah's Drone. Mill. And, no, nothing. none of that stuff's really that good. No. All right, number six, E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof. So in this blind, like always. 127 on this one. We have three Buffalo Trace products. They're leading the pack with the entries just because they have so many products and they're good. So we have two products from Mashville number one and then we have one product from Mashville number two. We don't have anything from Weeded because they don't have anything high enough, do they? They don't have a, they don't have a weller mm -hmm. that's the full proof well, is 114. We unless we did WLW, but yeah, we're not putting, we don't have enough of it. We don't it. have enough of that. And it's an older bottle, so. Yeah, and it's so hard to get, it's hard for, yeah. I'd say, this is gonna be stuff that people can with some for the most part. ease. For the most part. I mean, you might have to work for it. Yeah, you know, this is a chance Put some back pressure on it. Chance donated this next bottle. Uh, thank you, Chance. So this is a stag at 125.9 proof. This is another one of those ones that I just didn't realize how much ever ever bats varied. Mm -hmm. So the first time I ever had it, it was like it was awful. It <clears> almost <throat> killed me. Like, and uh, it was so hot, and I was like, I'll never drink these again. So I ended up giving a bottle away to a buddy of mine for his birthday, and we opened it, and I was like, holy shit. Like, it I, was a good bottle. It was so good. We killed it all at night. It was like four of us. You killed? Four of us did. Still though. But like, I was trashed. <laughs> you don't get on there. He got all sloppy, slobbery drunk, and what's that cord? Yeah, that's a little Get a little dry. I'm really liking most people going to the synthetics now. Oh, I'm a fan. I mean, I know you the... You uh, get broken cords. Well, I know the, uh, you know, the, the pretentious folk. Like, like I the, don't, it doesn't change the taste or anything. No, it doesn't. And right. hell, some of my favorite whiskeys are screw on top, so who cares? Right. Um... So this Blanton's is coming in at 128.8 proof. And that's a really good one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm out. All right. You want to make it on the break real quick? Yeah, I'm going to make up something. All right. Hey. Let's take it home. Calm down. Show you how this is done. Mm -hmm. What do I want, Kelly? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna go with some James E. Pepper. I filled that one up. <laughs> I filled that one up. <laughs> All right, so number nine is 1792 foolproof. Is this the only 1792 product we got? Yeah, because it's something they got over that. Okay. At 125. And I know some of them in the past that I've had have been hot. Hot. Even the, hot. even kind of coming in the middle of our kind of coming in the middle range there at 125. That bottle drinks hot. Right. And uh, number 
What do I do? Number 10. Up. Okay, number 10. Booker's. And this is bottle, this is batch 2023-03. So, Chance also... Is this that synthetic cord, man? I did not want to let you pull it. You could be pulled. Almost. I'll take a break for a second over here. Right. Supervise. You better talk. I am talking. So... Uh, I spit a little on my hand. So we'll be coming in at on proof on this one. 126.6. Yeah. Quarter of a sudden damn bottle. I know. I got a little carried away. Alright, so the next one out of our beam lineup is going to be Knob Creek. Knob Creek single barrel. Come now this is an older single barrel, but Come still 120. I think uh, as far as single barrel goes, they mm -hmm. vary so much. Uh, this was a really good one, and it's pretty low, so. Theirs are pretty, I mean, I'd say Nopti does a pretty damn good job about being pretty consistent, though. That last one I picked up from Big Papa's, uh -huh. completely different. Was it good? That was their it was barrel. okay. That was their barrel pick. It wasn't as good as the last barrel pick that and I how had. How much did you pay for that thing? A 75 ish See, they're just a little high on things sometimes, too. Some things are high, some things are right on. Yeah. But. Number 12 is Ezra Brooks Cast Strength. Now, this is one that I picked up. Coming at in at 120 proof. At a specs. And it's, in my opinion, I don't think it's going to do as well. Uh, it is a, a charcoal filtered whiskey. Like Jack Daniels, but after the barreling versus before yeah, the barreling. We could have put some dickle or something in there also. Do they make a dickle cast strength? Alright, I don't I don't know if I like this sticker, it's barely hanging over. I'm gonna create a new one. Alright, next we're gonna have 13th Colony. And this is their cast strength. Coming in at 120. 120.64? Yeah, that's what it says. That's the first time I've ever seen them do anyone do that. Has two decimal points or 120.64? 120. How accurate is there? Was it a hydrometer or a hygrometer or what, what is it called? Yeah. I don't know. That's the first time I've ever seen that. <sighs> Mm -hmm. As much as you shit on them. I don't hate it. You hate the prize. I'm just irritated. Oh, I get irritated with it. Because, I mean, you used to be able to buy that bottle for $55. Mm -hmm. All fucking day long. And it was a better product. Ten years ago, it was a better product. Yeah. And it's just horribly irritating. 13 Colony? Yep. Hey. Hey, you. I didn't. I didn't plan it this way. I did not plan it. Thirteen calling is thirteen. Number thirteen. <laughs> Dude, it made. That's my dark horse. I'm you think just so? picking. I'm just picking it I don't because think I haven't even tasted that one. Though. It's. I'm just. I'm picking it because of that. I've had thirteen calling. I've never had the cast rate. I didn't yeah. taste it. That's a bottle that came from Chance also. Chance donated like three of these bottles. Yeah. 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 I think so. He offered up more. We just decided this is what we decided to go with a little bit from everybody's collection. And um, I mean, and what do we say? The top four we're going to put back, and then mm -hmm. we're we're going to set up another sixteen eventually. Yeah, and then can run <clears throat> run yeah. them again, and then take the top four out of the other sixteen and have a top eight. Because I mean, I, we need to get the Larceny C nine twenty C nine twenty four this year. Yeah, this is A124? Yeah. So the last two are going to be Heaven Hill products. Larceny and what many people believe is the whiskey of the year of 2023. Yeah, so Larceny came in at 124.2. And the next one is going to be Elijah Craig, which I was... Stupid when we're in Kentucky, hadn't drank it yet, 
didn't buy any when I was up there. We actually ended up buying just two, I think. Chance loaded up. I think he came back with four or six of them. Of these? Yeah, but I found them in Lone Star, same price I was paying in Kentucky, and I does bought- Does he have more of them, or is he all out? Uh, he might have more than, I don't know, because I bought like seven. In Lone Star? Yeah. Well, I'm stopping by there Saturday. And I think I am, is it the, I've only got like two bottles left. Is it the drive-thru next to the yeah. death? Okay. Yeah, the. I'm gonna stop by there Saturday. The new Patel, not the we old got, Patel. We got, we got arm wrestling Saturday. Where at? In uh, Naples. Nipples? In Naples? Yeah, it's at the watermelon festival. It's gonna be it's a bunch of Quiet people there. It's gonna be so redneck. Oh, it's super redneck, but it's the fourth year in a row that we've done it. All right. All right. So there's that one. The uh, C923 came in at 133 proof. So that's the second. And it's a 13 year. 13 year, seven month. Mm -hmm. So okay. that's that's the second highest proofed whiskey we have. So <laughs> what I want to do, have you seen? The well, last but not least, so okay. we have the surprise. We do not know what this is. <clears throat> have no idea what this is. This is Chance's wild card. So and we have a, whenever it either wins or gets booted out, he has taped an envelope so shut. So if it, if it wins its round, it goes to the next. And it's just we still won't know what it is. Still won't know what it is. We won't know what it is till it gets either wins or gets eliminated. Yeah. Then we can open it up and get to find see what this is. So. But that's all sixteen. But uh, what were you saying? Um, I was watching some, of course, bourbon TikTok earlier and shit. And uh, man, I want to get my hands on that new uh, this year's old Fitzgerald. Very special release. A Fifteen year or whatever it, was a it is. Thirteen year. Was it a thirteen? It's a thirteen year. But here's the thing. I saw a video about that. It was. Movie. They made it in. Oh yeah. In like ninety nine. Yeah. Dumped it. Tasted it. Said we're just gonna hold it. Dumped it in what? In bottles? No, they didn't even bottle it till now. So it's been just sitting in a like a container, not aging anymore because it's not in a wood container. And it sat there for 11 damn years and they put it out for, so this year is the 25th anniversary of Heaven Hill taking over the old Fitzgerald line. So they made it for that. And that's that they decided to hold on to it because they said they knew it was special and people are saying, I mean, it's still early in the year and not a lot of this just stuff still has not come out, obviously. We're halfway through. But, you know, yeah, everything yeah, dumps in the fall. Yeah, yeah. bourbon season. But they're saying, yeah, bourbon season's the fall. But they're saying this could be whiskey of the year again. I mean, so two years in a row, Heaven Hill had whiskey of the year. You're probably never going to see one of those bottles. Because ah, it's a red label, isn't it? Yeah. And those are usually Kentucky only. Because I've never seen a red label mm -hmm. on old fits. And I used to see old fits all the time. No, I've seen green fucking, and black. They're like, which that's just spring and fall is all yeah. that is. The reds, they're special at least, and they don't make a red one every year. It's some years they do, some years they don't. I, I've never seen a red label, not in person. I don't think it's like if we go back to Kentucky and we get lucky enough the day we're at Heaven Hill. Yeah, lucky in Kentucky. But here's the deal: I see all the time every day those people line up at five o'clock in the morning to see what they're releasing. And they sit there, so they sit there for four hours waiting for their spot in line. I was pissed when I had to wait 20 minutes for a burger the other day. <laughs> oh yeah, listen to this shit. All right, so uh, the girlfriend and I went and played disc golf Saturday yeah. morning. And after disc golf was over with, we're like, cause we were right next to a uh, butcher shop on that course oh, over there. Uh, it was better this time than I've had previously. Yeah. It was a better burger. So I'm not opposed to going back. But anyway, she had mentioned she wanted to go to the butcher shop in the last couple of weeks. I'm like, well, shit, let's, we're right there. It's like a half a mile that way. I was like, let's just go to the butcher shop, whatever, get a burger. She's like, yeah. all right, cool. So we walked in. And I'm fucking starving, right? We had just played two hours of fucking disc golf. We did 18 holes. We walk in, and I'm like, there is... 30 motherfuckers in line and I'm just like what the fuck it usually goes pretty quick though it did I was irritated but what I got irritated most about 
was these two old cocksuckers, man and woman, cut in line because they saw somebody they knew and they walked up and right in front of us and I'm just like, what the fuck? I just sat there fuming. I didn't do anything. I just said something. I wanted to really, really bad, but I'm like, it's not worth it in the grand scheme of things. And now if a younger person would have tried to walk up, I'd be like, hey, bro, you need to get the fuck back here. But this guy, probably pushing 70. I don't think he had real teeth. I had to go tell the motherfucker, because he was in front of us, that they had called his number like three or four times. All right, last call for number 81. And I'm like, I think that's that old cocksucker's number. I'm like, ah, fuck it, I'm gonna go tell him. So I was a nice guy, even mm -hmm. though he cut me in line. I'm like, hey man, I think they're calling your number. But, yeah. Did you get some chili or some beans there? I did, I got both. Yeah. They were good. Yeah, I like, I like the chili. Yeah. I got the uh, flamethrower burger. It was, it was, it was warm. Hmm. You got like pepper jack or, or got habanero cheese or something? Yeah, it's got some kind of habanero shit on it and okay. fucking ghost pepper mayonnaise. Yeah, so Saturday we went for a friend's birthday and ended up in Avenger at 5D Steakhouse. Carefully I will never go back to that place. No? I was so pissed. First off, I go to a steakhouse. I expect to get a steak. Yeah. What'd you and get? We're not reading it. It says a 22 ounce bone-in ribeye. So I'm thinking, okay, it's going to be like this. I'm going to have a hunk of meat. Was it flat? It was about that thick and took up the whole damn plate and the bone was about this damn long. I'm like, I pay for a bone ribeye because I want that marrow to get in there when you're cooking it and that's what it does. And so I was very disappointed. And on top of that, they, I ordered the ribeye. They bring me out a T-bone. I'm like, this is not a ribeye, this is a T-bone. The waitresses were completely clueless. They're like, no, that's a, that's a ribeye. I'm like, no. See how that bone makes a T? That's a T-bone. I said the ribeye is going to be, it's going to have a curve to it. <laughs> hey, what is a T-bone, the New York strip and the... Something, yeah. The Which I'm not a fan of the T-bone, like I don't... I think a T-bone is a New York strip and a fillet. Yeah, or something like which that. I'm not a fan of because it doesn't have a lot of marbling. So I had to send it back, had to wait, I and mean, we were already starved, it was taking forever. Yeah. And we were there with the whole damn table. So finally I get my food and I'm already pissed and then... Then we go to try to tab out. I asked for my ticket, it took me an hour to pay. What? Yeah. So they were that. They had a concert and yeah, it was just ridiculous. Never go there. There was no organization that was. I bet the steaks you cooked that one night at uh, full party time was better. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I make a pretty good steak. We should do that again. Yeah. I feel like I make a pretty good steak. So. I like it. We have ribeyes that night? What do we have? We had those ribeyes that, uh, the accident that happened at uh, her work. Oh, yeah. Which turned out to be an accident. No? No, we ended up having to pay for those. So they dropped them off on purpose? So you yeah, don't have to pay so for them? we had sampled those uh, a few months back. Am I out of the camera? Sure. A little bit. Um, so we had sampled them for Judd's a couple months back. Yeah. Then Becky asked the distributor if, we wanted, if she wanted to buy them, could she buy them? He said, yeah. She never ordered any though. And then a case showed up. How much was the case? It's like, How 126 bucks. How many were in a case? Well, supposed to be nine. By the time Becky got to it, two had been taken out. Oh, shit. So seven. But he had he put someone else's name on it and showed it billing out to another company so we could get a better price was the whole deal. So we ended up with seven stakes for 120 something bucks. Still not a horrible price because those, those were good stakes. I mean, it's less than $20 a steak. I mean, those were solid, very Tender steaks. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna buy Prime for twenty dollars a steak oh, yeah. at Walmart, which I never buy at Walmart. I go to I buy at Skinner's typically, or I've been doing the half cows, and that's a hell of a lot. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the same meat. Which one? Skinner's and Walmart. They get they all get it from Cisco. Skinner's? I don't think they do. Yeah, their their briskets are the same. Maybe the briskets. I think they're beef. They're buying that from a, a distributor. A different. Yeah, if I that. Uh, or at least I know they're cutting it themselves. Yeah, they're probably buying the, like a big chunk versus. Because yeah. I mean, they walked out with a full whole thing and just sliced it for me to think that's how I want it. 
I mean, I do like that. I don't yeah. mean, I, I prefer a... I like, I like a two inch cut. Yeah. If I'm cooking here at the house, mm -hmm. I want to take me half an hour to cook that something. Oh yeah. I prefer it. Yeah. I like indirect cooking. Yeah. I mean, but I mean, you get a two inch cut of ribeye, it takes a while. Yeah. Well, we need to do steaks again. So oh yeah. I got to work Sunday though. Okay. okay. Yeah. So I got arm wrestling Saturday. I got to work Sunday. And then I got to work the following Saturday. Sounds like the storm's coming out. Yeah, I hear it rumbling. Well, anyways, uh, anyway. Well, y'all got a preview of what's going to be in the blind. Yeah. Uh, if you think we're stupid for some of these, y'all can tell us. You can suck a dick. I don't care. Because you're not paying us. So. <laughs> thanks, Chance, again, for donating. Yeah, always. Uh, thanks, Chance. Yeah. Chance is, <sighs> Chance is a good guy. I don't care what you say about him. <laughs> So oh, Chance is a good guy. <laughs> he's, he's super giving. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I like him. <laughs> anyway, I think that's all we got. Uh, stick around. We'll start this uh, series soon. As soon as I get past this fucking bullshit, he'll probably get one right after. I figure we'll probably start next week. Yeah, probably. Get a couple videos in. Yeah. But thanks for watching, guys. Like the video, subscribe, share with your friends. Hit the bell for notifications. Like always, drink some whiskey, share with your friends and family. Be safe. Don't drink, drive. Take care. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.